Now this patient has three separate ulcerations here. Uh, she was uh, clean out of Bougainvillea and she got these puncture wounds that actually got worse. In the tip off here, she has venous insufficiency. She has a lot of reflux in the saphenous vein. Uh, right here, you can see it's dilated. Uh, is it coming down when, when we stand her up? She has a lot of reflux there. And so what we're gonna do today is do the tears technique. And we're actually going to inject this vein, close it off, uh, put some compression, clean up the wounds a little bit, and see her back every two weeks. So we'll show you that in a minute. Now we're just irrigating with normal saline using a 3cc syringe and a 30 gauge needle. Start our irrigation a little bit, clean this wound out. It's very tender. I don't think I can debride her much today. Okay. Now the scalp needle's in. So we're going to be injecting the vein. Mm -hmm. be a little burning. Just milk it down a little bit. She's going to need a couple of injections. But this is how we do the tears technique. If we find a little branch, sometimes we'll inject through that. Okay. Now, this is the uh, patient about 10 weeks post-injection in the tears technique with um, subtrachal foam. You can see there's a marked healing present. Uh, all that was done was just some minor uh, cleaning of the wound using antibacterial soap. Uh, very mild compression of around 20 millimeters. And the patient had uh, very good uh, wound healing. Uh, the tears technique actually forms an internal compression dressing. You have to think of it this way. The vessels that are incompetent, uh, that are causing the ulcerations, when you clot them up, it forms an internal compression dressing, which is much more effective than doing external compression. Uh, this patient uh, did very well. Uh, this is an unusual uh, presentation of venous ulcers. But any time that you have saphenous insufficiency, any kind of trauma to the skin can form ulcerations. In this case, it was three different uh, puncture sites by a Bougainvillea bush uh, while she was out cleaning the yard. However, she's had a very good result and uh, we've corrected the uh, saphenous insufficiency underneath the uh, ulcerations by doing the tears technique. About uh, two to three months later, after all these had healed, we did a uh, ablation of the saphenous vein uh, above the knee that was still incompetent. Uh, but you can see also that the um, spider veins have cleared uh, very nicely. Um, on the uh, foot, this is uh, we did this at the same time as we did the tears technique. We actually injected the spider veins as well. So this is just an unusual presentation of uh, venous ulcerations. But any time that you have saphenous insufficiency, even minor trauma to the lower leg can cause ulcerations.